start out actually by defining Lyme disease because it's just not so simple as chickenpox. Correct. I mean, Lyme disease comes from a spirochete. It's a bacteria. It's like syphilis. And it's been around actually for thousands of years. It turned out in the Neanderthal man, uh, Otzi, 5,000 years ago, they found Lyme disease. So it's not a new disease. It's been around for a long time. You get it from the bite of an infected tick. Now, there are questions right now whether Lyme can be transmitted from mosquito bites or sexual transmission. There's been some conversations about that in the medical literature, but it's essentially from the bite of an infected tick. And the problem is, is that most patients who see me don't just get Lyme disease. They get a lot of other infections because these ticks are containing multiple bacteria, multiple viruses, parasites. So it's very complex. That's really the key to it then, so that it's not just, we talk about Lyme disease generically, but the fact of the matter is that Lyme disease rarely comes alone. So That's correct. Yeah, it, if Lyme was alone, first of all, when you treat it at the level of a bullseye rash, and by the way, half the people don't get rashes at all, and of the ones who do get rashes, only about 15, 20, 25 percent, it actually looks like a bullseye. Some doctors will make the diagnosis of a cellulitis, an infection in the skin, or a spider bite. So you don't have to get the rash to have Lyme disease. The problem is, is that if you get it early, you can cure it in 75 to 80 percent of the time. But when you don't get it early, that's when it goes on to the chronic disease state. You get persistent symptoms, and those are the people who generally have come to see me after they've seen 10 to 20 doctors.